Hello, happy people. Welcome to our daily devotional scripture that encourages you to pray. Tonight we're going to be looking at Matthew chapter 18, verses 1 to 4. So I want to encourage you to get out your Bibles and turn there with me as we hear Jesus teach his disciples about the humility of a childlike faith in response to their question, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you for today. We thank you for all of your blessings in our lives. We thank you because all good things come from you, including our faith and our growth in our faith. And we thank you, Father, for your patience with us. And we thank you, Father, that you desire for us to grow closer and closer with you. Help us, Father, now as we study your word, open your word to us, plant your word within us, Nurture our faith that it would bear the fruits that you desire, that you would be glorified and others would be blessed. Father, we pray these things in Jesus' name, according to your will and for your glory. And all of God's children, we all say, Amen. Guys, I want to say thank you also to our social media team. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all you do to help people navigate our, our social media platforms. And <clears throat> to everybody who's listening, if you have any uh, prayer requests or praise reports, please use our prayer app. We have 26 dedicated prayer partners, and we meet together every month uh, to catch up on how we are caring for those we are praying for, and uh, we pray for you and care for you during the month. And so please do not feel like you have to go through whatever it is that you're going through alone, because you don't. So let's look at Matthew chapter 18, verses 1 to 4. It says, At that time the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus calling to himself a child, he put the child in the midst of them and said, Truly I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So we're talking tonight about the humility of a childlike faith. Well, let's begin with the simple truth, the painful truth which is the disciples were not being humble. Thus, they needed to be taught this lesson. And this is by no means the only time that the disciples demonstrate a lack of humility. James and John will come to Jesus and ask if they can sit at his left and right hand in the kingdom of heaven. Peter will have the audacity to rebuke Jesus. All of the disciples will express their disapproval at Jesus for the anointing of oil uh, by Mary. And Martha was critical of Jesus for not telling Mary to help her. And these are the incidents that are recorded in Scripture. There were probably others also. Jesus demonstrated perfect humility for us. He left heaven. He took on human form. He came to serve, not to be served. He endured the cross and scorned its shame. He never desired an earthly kingdom. And so Jesus says in Matthew 11, verse 29, Take my yoke, that is his teachings, take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. You know, grace is humbling because it's all about God. It's humbling as adults to think that God first worked in us when we were infants and did nothing in the waters of our baptism. We were given faith, we were given the Holy Spirit, we were adopted into the family of God. This is humbling to think about as adults. It's humbling every time we come to the Lord's table we receive Christ's body and blood for the forgiveness of our sins. And we know that we have been forgiven yet again, yet again. Grace is humbling because it's all God. And so, brothers and sisters in Christ, then we would do well to ask ourselves, where can we humbly serve? There's a lot of ways to serve, but what Jesus desires is that we would humbly serve. And so where can we humbly serve in our church? There are many opportunities to serve in the local church. And so let us seek God's guidance 
and seek the Spirit's direction in how we would humbly serve in our local church? Where can we humbly serve in our community? Where are those who are less fortunate than us? Where are those that we can help because of life's lessons that we have learned, sometimes the hard way? Where can we humbly serve in our marriage? Where can we humbly serve our wife or our husband or our children, our grandchildren? Where can we demonstrate the humility with which Christ served us? And how and where can we humbly serve at work? Serving our customers, serving our peers, serving our supervisors. You know, the disciples did not exhibit humility at first, but with time, it did come. And they showed this in their mission to the world. May we do so also. Amen? Amen. Let's go in peace. Let's serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good night.